are the Giants better or worse at QB? I'm going to throw it out there to where I think most people think I probably would not go in this scenario. I think we're better. Oh. I really... Now, are we better than where we should... You know what I mean? Like, like it's a matter of what degree. We have better weapons around for Daniel Jones to okay. succeed. So I want to make sure and where we go. Because I want to make him. If you're expecting better quarterback play this year, I'm I expecting agree. better play from him than he played last year. 100%. Correct. If you're talking about talent in that room, last year we probably had a little bit more. 100% correct. But play this year, hands down. Yeah, if you're going just purely on, is the quarterback room itself better? It is not. Because Tyrod Taylor was an upgrade, in my opinion at least, over Drew Locke. Correct. But do you want to say, do you expect that the quarterback position is stronger this year than it was last year? I it think it be. is because yes. of the tools around them. I want to make sure we... Oh, yeah. Clear. Of course, somebody will ambass us for saying that. Yeah. yeah. I get you. I get you on that one. Yeah. And like I said, I think that that's where it all stems down to. Is Drew, Drew Locke proved me wrong. <laughs> what we did was we couldn't get the quarterback we wanted in Drake May. And they went ahead and just decided, let's build up the team. And again, if you look at what they did this offseason, there was an allocation of money to more valuable positions. It's probably the best way to word it. An allocation of money to better yes. positions. They didn't spend the money on, on Xavier McKinney. They didn't spend the money on Saquon Barkley. They said, screw it. We're building up the lines. We're getting us a, a stud pass rusher. Oh, I think we overpaid, but we got a stud pass rusher. <laughs> we, you know, we fixed the line, hopefully, with some, some pieces there, some veteran pieces. Even our backups. I mean, let's be honest, guys. Our backups are stronger at this point. We have veteran backups. It was the last we've had veteran backups at offensive line. Yeah. Is it a stellar line? No. Again, we're hoping for an average one. Average line, good wide receiver room, potential number one, potential 100 yard catch kind of guy. I don't know, 100 yard catch, 100 catch kind of guy. Uh, you know, keeping Slayton for the year, assuming that whole situation works itself out in a positive way. Uh, you know, having Hyatt a second year at that point, being the speed demon he is. Who knows what happens to Waller, but you, 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 you know, Theo Johnson is an upgrade over the other people in the room besides D D D uh, Daniel Bellinger last year. You know, he walks in basically already being better than anybody else we had at, at tight end last year besides Bellinger and Waller. You know, yeah. so it's definitely better than Cager. No offense, Cager. He tries. That should help. That should help the QB room. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like when you when you get the uh, when you have a shipbox car and the engine Imagine blows out car. and you put a new, new set of tires and a new engine in it. It's still a shipbox car, but it's going to run better. It's going to run a little smoother. That's that's the best analogy I can give you guys. So. You know, I think we shouldn't expect crazy things out of this offense because we don't have the right quarterback. But I do think we should not expect to be the absolute embarrassment we've been the last couple of years. That's what the expectation should be. Go towards the middle of the pack, at least. It's a sad thing that that's our goal, but that's where we're at. You know, don't embarrass yeah. us. They got to 2022. That's all I have to say. It's almost like when you have that, when you're like you're a parent, and you got that problem child, like, you know, go behave. The people are watching. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I already know that speech because I was the problem child, but I mean, that's, that's where we're at. So, you know, I, I, I think that's what we got to, what we got to look at there is a better, there's going to be a better room overall. I'm sorry, a better play overall from that room, even though the, went down a little bit because I do think Tyrod Taylor better than Locke. But they should play better because of what's around them. And as always, Giant fans, 
Go G-Man! 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 Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.